Welcome to the video for problems 5.5 and 5.9 of Engineering 623. Problem 5.5 is as follows. It says a load impedance of ZL equals 90 plus J60 ohms is to be matched to a 75 ohm line using a single series stub tuner. Find two designs using open circuited stubs. And so the what's different about this from what we've done before is that this single stub tuner is in series rather than a shunt uh, rather than being a shunt stub. So what we do in this problem that is quite simple. Uh, first, we locate uh, Z sub L, uh, which is 90 plus J60 divided by 75, or 1.2 plus J0.8 on the Smith chart. And that point you can see is uh, shown in blue uh, right up here. And then uh, we draw the SWR circle through that point, and you can see that uh, actually I haven't drawn the entire circle. Uh, just the important points on the uh, 1 plus JX circle. We find the, the two shortest values of D uh, to rotate to the 1 plus JX circle. And uh, so uh, and these values are, are shown there as Z1 and Z2. And um, uh, that is rotating, by the way, in the clockwise direction. And so, um, uh, finally, in step four, we find the values of X that would bring us to the origin of the Smith chart. So, uh, in step three, when we rotate in the clockwise direction, we find that uh, we must rotate a distance 0 0.174 lambda from the blue point uh, rotating in the counter, excuse me, rotating in the clockwise direction to get to Z1 and to get all the way to Z2, we have to rotate 0 0.482 lambda. And so once we rotate those two distances to get Z1 and Z2, we find that uh, Z1 uh, is equal to 1 minus j 0 0.81 ohms and z2 is 1 plus j 0 0.81 ohms. Uh, so for solution 1, uh, we want the stub to provide a reactance of positive j 0 0.81 and for solution 2, we want it to provide a reactance of minus j 0 0.81. The formula for an open circuited stub is Zn equals minus Jz0 cotangent beta L, which means that the normalized Zn is minus J cotangent beta L. And so when we uh, set that value uh, equal to J0.81 to get uh, uh, our first solution, uh, we get uh, L1 is equal to 0 0.358 lambda. So if we take D1, if we take the, the, the solution Z1, then D1 is equal to 0 0.174 lambda and L1 is equal to 0 0.358 lambda. If we take the second solution, which corresponds to Z2, then D1 is 0 0.482 lambda. And plugging in just as before, we would find in that case that L2 is 0 0.142 lambda. So uh, that's a very straightforward problem. As I say, the only way in which it differs from what we have done before is that we have a series stub rather than a shunt stub. And so that's why we work with uh, uh, reactances or, or, or impedances rather than admittances. So that's really all that needs to be said for problem 5.5. Now let's go to problem 5.9. And 
actually this problem also is quite straightforward. It is a double stub tuning problem. Uh, it's This one says, uh, design a double stub tuner using open circuited stubs with a lambda over eight spacing to match a load admittance YL equals 0 0.4 plus J 1.2, why not? So the steps here, we plot uh, YL equals 0 0.4 plus J 1.2 on the Smith chart. And that point uh, you can see here is shown in blue. Uh, it is um, in the interior of the rotated one plus JB circle. Here's the one plus JB circle, and we have rotated it counterclockwise uh, one quarter of the way around the circle since uh, the separation between the two stubs is lambda over eight. So we, uh, once we have plotted that blue point, then uh, moving along uh, the curve through that point, the curve of uh, curve of constant reactance, we see that uh, we could move to this rotated one plus JB circle by either going clockwise to Y1 or by going counterclockwise to Y1 prime. And so that's is uh, summarized here in step two. It says rotating both clockwise and counterclockwise on the Smith chart. See what susceptances must be added to this, meaning the blue point, to bring you to the one plus JB circle rotated 90 degrees in the counterclockwise direction. And then in step three, for each of these cases, rotate 90 degrees now in the clockwise direction. This will bring you to the one plus JB circle. Find the susceptances for the second stub. And so you can see that that has been done here. Uh, after finding Y1 and Y1 prime, we rotate uh, each one of those by 90 degrees, uh, which is uh, one quarter of the way around in the um, clockwise direction. So Y1 rotates to Y2 and Y1 prime here rotates to Y2 prime. And uh, uh, sure enough, both of these points lie on the 1 plus JB circle, as they should. And then we can read off each one to see what susceptance must be added from the second stub to bring us to the center of the Smith chart. And we see uh, in, in step two, um, where, we wrote, where we rotated from the... Uh, blue dot to the to y1 and y2 in red well excuse me to y1 and y1 prime in red uh, we find that the necessary susceptances to bring the blue point to those two red points is either j0.6 that would take us to y1 or uh, minus j1.0 that would take us to y1 prime uh, and in step three uh, once we have then rotated from the red points to the green points, and we want to see what's necessary to add to the green points, what susceptance is necessary to add to the green points to bring us to the center of the Smith chart. We see that um, B2, um, which is the susceptance that must be added to Y2, uh, is, is J3.0 or the susceptance that must be added to Y2 prime would be minus J 0 0.98. So um, we have then our four values for two values for B1, which we call B1 and B1 prime, and then the two values for B2, B2 and B2 prime. And um, finally, we want to recall that we are using open circuited stubs. And so the formula for the normalized admittance um, a distance L from a open circuited from the end of a s open circuited stub is Y n over Y naught. That's the normalized admittance is equal to J tangent of beta L. And so, if we take the four values that we have found 
and um, solve for the different L's, we get that uh, the two possible values for L1, which is the length of the first stub, uh, are either 0 0.86 lambda or 0 0.375 lambda. And the two values for uh, the length of the second stub would be 0 0.199 lambda and 0 0.377 lambda. And you, you need to keep these together. So if you choose the first value for L1, you need to choose the first value for L2. And if you choose this uh, L1 prime for the first stub, then you need to choose L2 prime for the second stub. But once again, uh, that's a, a very straightforward problem. It's, it's just like the previous problem we did uh, with double stub tuning, uh, which was problem uh, 5.10, except that in 5.10, uh, the separation of the two stubs was 3 lambda over 8, so we um, initially rotated the 1 plus JB circle uh, um, 3 quarters of the way around in the uh, clockwise, in the, excuse me, in the counterclockwise direction. But uh, in this problem, the, the separation was only lambda over 8, so we uh, only rotated in the counterclockwise direction um, one quarter of the way. But otherwise, uh, this problem is identical to 510. So that completes our discussion of problems 5.5 and 5.9 for engineering 623.